Hey, Trenders, it's Justin A. Williams from The Trend with Justin A. Williams podcast. Now, I've got some good news for you, something that'd be really, really helpful. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will also distribute your podcast for you. So it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. Sounds awesome. You can make money from your podcast as well with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast all in one place. So download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Trenders, I know you guys like to do a lot of different things. You guys are interested in a lot of different things. This is a great way to get your podcast off the ground. I know for me personally, it's helped me tremendously. So go ahead Go to, again, anchor.fm or download the free Anchor app and have a ball. All right. See you around, trenders. Good day, trenders. This is the Trend Podcast with Justin A. Williams, and we are here to bring you awesome content from all across the spectrum. Today, we have an awesome, awesome guest. As always, I say they're awesome all the time, but I'm always right. Quincy Nichols. So you know him, friend of the podcast. He was on last season. Now he's back. And we are going to talk about a very interesting topic, which is keto, right? But not just keto, but why is keto not good for somebody who may be a bodybuilder? But why is keto possibly not good for building muscle and depleting fat at the same time? A lot of people out there, uh, people in the fitness world die by keto. They live by keto. They subscribe to keto all the time. And I've tried keto myself to no avail, but that might not be why it doesn't work for some people. But, you know, we we want to challenge the notion that there's a one diet for every single person. Everybody has their own different biochemistry. I know for myself with my own weight loss journey, you know, I tried to lose weight just by exercise and diet wasn't working. I finally started losing weight, 40 pounds since August, only able to do that through going to a doctor and finding an expert, what is my particular body chemistry, what's in my blood, what am I lacking hormone-wise, and then coming up with tips on how to best do that for someone like me, you know? So anyway, Quincy, why don't you introduce yourself? Good evening. Good evening. Pleasure to be here, man. Appreciate it. Coming back, you know. Quincy Nichols here, Concord LLC. (laughs) Yes. Enjoying life, man. Enjoying life. That's awesome. That's hey, awesome. And you're, you're oh. still in Westchester now, right? Yes, yes, yes. Up in Westchester. Living good. Cold as hell right now. It's like six yeah. degrees outside. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's it's nine degrees here. No, uh, oh, really? Yeah, it's about nine degrees. Oh, okay, okay. Six degrees and, you know, dropping. And COVID, so even worse, sucks. It's crazy. You know? You know, it's really, it's really crazy how in the winter, you know, we... We get to some lows that we never think we're going to get to. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't think like, I mean, you think like Antarctica is like nine degrees. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You wake up and you go outside. It's like, holy shit, it's cold. Yeah. And, and then sometimes, you know, it'll be like 45 and you'll be mm-hmm. like, I'm freezing. Yeah. But then it'll be 12 degrees and you dress warm and then you're kind of okay. And you're like, this is something that doesn't make sense. And yeah. Yeah. Weather doesn't make sense. Yeah. You know. No, well, no. Yeah. No, not at all. Yeah. Well. So tell me a little bit about your journey this past year and why you decided to make the switch off of keto. And, yeah. and, and also for the audience, to, for people who don't know what keto is, give an explanation. Keto basically is a high fat, low protein, very low carb diet. So with keto, it is no fruits, okay, um, no legumes with pasta, mm-hmm. you know, certain like peanuts, they want, they want you to have. Like a- what, what is a legume? People don't always know. Uh, beans, beans, beans. Okay. These things, things of that nature. Yeah. You know. Um. So moderate, high fats, very low protein, very low carbs. That's that's. Okay. The so they want to basically you get your energy off of the high fat. That's where instead mm-hmm. of carbs, fats take the place. Okay. A lot of people sometimes think too like, with keto is healthy fats. You know, with the olive oil, coconut oil, things mm-hmm. of that nature. But you go also eat like chicken wings because wings right. are even higher fat. Right. right, and that's supposed to be what pulls you up. But so I, I journeyed off of that because coming up, I have one of my first shows ever. In oh, the congrats, Astro, congrats! Astro, 
natural bodybuilding. And there's no steroids. Okay. You've been natural. working the calves? You've been working the calves? Because you used to have calves like your nose. Just very <laughs> thin, long and thin, breathable, compact. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm working my calves, but it just, it just doesn't seem to grow. <laughs> you know? okay. And the thing, I try to work them in, in the beginning of the workout so I don't get tired. I say if right. it's leg day, if it's quad and hamstring day or something, I'll do, I'll, I'll, I'll do um, calves in the beginning. Okay. Yeah, it's no prevail, man. I, I got skinny calves. What can I say? You know? Yeah, yeah, it happens. You know? But all, all natural, though. Bodybuilding. Um, show coming up April 23rd in okay. uh, Rochester, New York. So mm-hmm. let's see how that goes, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so why didn't keto work for you while you were going through this process? I, with, with my body, I don't think it could build muscle because you, okay. you need good high protein and you need – a certain amount of fats, but not not eighty percent of your diet should be in fat. You know, you, okay. need, you need at least eighty percent protein, ten percent fats, and ten percent carbs. So my carb okay. intake right now, because I want, I'm, I'm at thirteen percent body fat right now. Okay. I want to come around to at least eight to ten. Sounds a little crazy having ten eight eight percent body fat, but I want right. to come around. So my carbs right now is only sixty to eighty grams a, uh, a day. So most of my carbs are coming from fruits and, and veggies. Raspberries, um, blackberries, blueberries, and a okay. banana every now and then. You know, but that's where that's where my most of my carbs are coming from. Every now okay. and then, I sweet potato if I feel a little funky. You know. Right, 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 right. Now you you had some success with keto before oh, this, yeah. right? Well, you remember yeah, yeah, last yeah. year you were you yeah. were all about it. No, well, I'm, I'm still about it, but I just don't think it. Could, right, right. But it you were applying it to you were applying it to your to yourself. Yes, yes, yes. Right. That's before I, I I told myself I want to do this show. Right. You know, and and I I can't I can't say that keto was helping me build a quality quality muscle that I need. Did you, you know? feel ti- did you feel too tired? Did you feel like you just well, weren't right. Were you off of keto? When you were on keto and you were trying to bodybuild, what what was that um, like? No, I wasn't seeing progress when it, like, like I said, once again, full quality muscle. I wasn't seeing the definition yeah. that I wanted to see until I, I, I switched. I, I slowly weaned myself up and started eating the, you know, fruits, some, some, you know, mm-hmm. great leafy greens, vegetables, things of that nature. Some sweet potatoes every now and then, you know, I, I then I started to see my muscles full out and that's, mm-hmm. that's where carbs come into play. Carbs yeah. make your muscles full, right? Right. Right. And that's, and that's, that's the look that you want. So, is that the glycogen? The glycogen, yeah. right? Yeah, water glycogen. fills the muscle. The water, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's like I said, I'm, I'm still about keto if you, you know, if you do it the right way and not do dirty keto, which is, you know, like the the high fat beef, mm-hmm. ground beef and things of nature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Frying dish. But, it, but it, it, it also seems like you, I mean, I've talked to people who do keto and they mm-hmm. don't do 80% fat. They do like... They, they still would. They still well. They would still say they do high protein, mm-hmm. high fat, okay. no carb. Well, That's what, what they would say. Well, what I see now is the different forms of keto. Right. You know, like you said, you'll do some will have the the high protein mm-hmm. and moderate fats and very right. little to no to no um, carbs. But right. I, I can't do that just just because I need those carbs for my for my workouts. Mm-hmm. I, I need that. I need that energy. Mm-hmm. I need that energy. I need good good quality muscle and. The high yeah. fat diet is not, it, it's not working for me. It's just, right, for right. Me at this point in the game. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm turning 39 years old come next month. Mm-hmm. So I ain't no spring chicken anymore. No, <laughs> so, congratulations. So, congratulations. I, so I, I have to get that, that, you know, good quality protein, lean chicken breasts, lean fish. Right. Um, seafood every now and then, you know, shrimp, mm-hmm. high in cholesterol issues, you know. So um, I eat about, Maybe six, maybe not two eggs a day, but like four to six ounces of, of egg white. Egg white is one of the best wow. proteins. The way it digests it in your body, it yes, plus the muscle. One of the best proteins you could you could eat is egg whites. I mean, egg whites doesn't really taste like shit. You know, I douse it with some hot sauce, but you know. Well, you can make a, a nice little omelet, um, almond milk shake with egg whites, right? Can you like almond milk? Take, what? Oh, hold on. Can, milk. can't you take? Can't you take like? You know, some kind of milk that is healthy and mixed with the egg whites. I mean, that's an omelet anyway, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, like, I mean, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, if you want to get creative and drink it, because I know, you know, people. Now, I, I I rather eat it. I don't. I mean, I have I mixed an egg with like a. Um, I can't remember the, the recipe I used to use, like berries and eggs. Uh-huh. I used to taste the egg, but it's like one egg. One right. whole, you don't really taste the egg with the protein powder. 
but yeah, mixing with and drinking, uh, uh, that's some, that's some that's, strong. That's man. some bullshit. That's some bullshit. Like you, in, in the intro, you said you went to the doctor and you have to realize. What yeah, you, yeah, I went to an endocrinologist. And yeah. That, yeah, and that's exactly what I tell my clients now. You know. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, you you used to train me. I mean, we used to train, and yeah, yeah. and I just could not drop anything, no matter yeah. how much I trained or whatever I ate. And I was like, I was being honest. You know, it's not like I come and I do the work and it's not working. Yeah. yeah. You know, and then. um you know, I ballooned up to about 360 pounds. Really? Wow. Yeah, during the pandemic. Uh, I, 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 what, what I was trying to do was I was I was fast. I, I was like, okay, let me – this is before I went to the doctor. Mm. I was trying to do it myself, and I said, let me – I heard about fasting. Mm. So I said, let me try intermittent fasting every day, right? So from I'd eat, I stopped, I'd, I'd eat at 6, mm. and I wouldn't eat again until about 1 o'clock, 12 o'clock, right? So I'd get – about 14, 16 hours a yeah. day of, of that. Sometimes I go 20. Oh, I was eating. Yeah. So that but the, but, one, but the, the what'd you say? One meal or two meals you get in within that six six hour period. Uh, I, I think I used to do like two meals. Actually, oh, yeah. I think I used to do three meals. Oh, okay, okay. I, okay. I would like totally compensate. And so I was yeah. sabotaging myself. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, uh, when I went to the endocrinologist, uh, Dr. Rubito in oh. New York, great guy. Um. He told me that you know you're not activating your mitochondria enough. Okay, you know, you're you're an endomorph. You know okay. you can put on a lot of muscle. Mm-hmm. You can also put on a lot of fat. You know you're not a six foot two, you know cross country runner. Even though I ran cross country in high school, you know my body physiology, mm-hmm. my body physiology really changed once yeah. I was in college. You know I I was I went from being a skinny cross country runner okay. about 175 pounds, mm-hmm. six foot, to being six foot two and rugby and rowing. You know I put on yeah. a lot of muscle. Yeah. And, um, you know, with what I was trying to do with fasting, he said, you're, you're getting too many calories in a day. You're not activating your mitochondria enough. Okay. And you're not letting your body reset mm-hmm. from the sugar intake that you have, the insulin. Yeah. So then I was thinking like, oh, am I carb sensitive? Right. Mm-hmm. Like I can't process carbs. Oh, yeah. My dad was carb sensitive. Right. But what we found, we found through his, his, uh, blood testing, was that I'm not carb sensitive. I I process carbs fine. Right, right, so I was yeah. like, then why why can't I lose weight? Why am I just putting it on? Mm-hmm. And so basically, you got me on five two fasting, uh, okay. which is five days eating regularly, even though I still do skip breakfast. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then he said two days where you eat one meal, but you go 24 hours fasting from their mm-hmm. last meal. Mm-hmm. So now I get 24 hours every, and it's been working like a charm. You know, oh, it, it's it's really okay. worked. And then. It gives your, your body time to reset itself. Within. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and you know, with your mitochondria reactivating, mm-hmm. I mean, that's your that's your energy, your store, your powerhouse. That's your metabolism. Yeah. yeah. Um, I have hypothyroidism, so okay. uh, you know, I, 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 and it runs in the family. So it's it's just one of those things that that that's why I specifically needed to get a specific plan for me. You know, um, so but, I, you know, you've been feeling. I've been. I've been feeling better than ever, and okay. especially since I started okay. taking B12. Okay. You know, when you go to a when you when you go to someone like an endocrinologist, mm. they're going to be able to tell you that no hormones don't necessarily always determine whether you're going to drop fifty pounds, but having your hormones out of whack can really mess, mess. with yeah. you cognitively, and it can mess with you in a whole bunch of ways yeah. that can, in a transitive way, affect your weight. Right? It, um, it, 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 it's like. Uh, you know, your dad, your, your daddy, your mom screaming at you doesn't cause you to punch that kid in class, <laughs> but they're definitely related to some form of anger, which is exactly, why, right? Exactly, exactly. So, not that we advocate for violence here. <laughs> um, but uh, what what would you say? To, do you agree that that's the uh, the best that everybody kind of needs to be tailor fit sometimes, just to be sure about how they should go about not even just losing weight, but just being mm-hmm. fit? Yes, I mean it. Every everyone has their own. Everyone has. I tell my clients. Everyone has their own personal trainer. Why everyone has their own ways of dealing with with certain things. Mm-hmm. If you don't like one way, just go and and look it up or Google it. Do it. Do your own research about it. You know, because mm-hmm. every nowadays everyone is different. Everyone is yeah. different. I see bodybuilders slamming CrossFit. CrossFit slamming bodybuilders. Bodybuilders yeah. slamming physique models. Physique models. Right. It's like no. It's this. 
shut up and do what's good for you. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. That's for you. Right. Yeah. Like um over over the, the the holiday break, New Year's Eve and stuff, one of my clients that just started training with me, she said, she texted me, she's like, Oh, thank you, Quincy. I was like, For what? She's like, For once for once in my life a trainer didn't make me feel bad about having that eggnog or going out to eat. Because I'm like, if if you stress about that, you're gonna right. be you're not gonna be happy. You can't stress about eating one fucking slice of pizza. <laughs> you, you right. can't. And she's like, every time I told my my uh, my ex trainer that I was going to do this, and she made me feel like I was shit. Like, oh my right. god, Lauren, how could you? How could you do that? How could you do this? You know, right. you're losing all your gains. No, you're not losing all your gains off a mm. eat meal. Right. No. You know right. I mean? It doesn't work that way. Food food does not work that way. Right. You know? Just like it takes a long period of time for you to lose weight, it's going to take a, a long period of time for you to gain weight. So if, yeah. if you have a, a slice of pizza or two slices of pizza on a Friday, you're not going to gain five pounds the next day. You're not no, going to lose yeah. all your muscle mass. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. It, it doesn't. It doesn't work that way. So I just try to tell my client, I, I give them a couple of diet diet plans, you know, and, and see what's best for you. There's one thing not working. All right, let's switch it up. Did you have Did you have exits? Maybe exits not working for you. Maybe mm-hmm. that's the protein for 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 your body. Let's mm-hmm. go eggs to turkey burgers or something. Turkey burgers. Yeah. Work? All right, let's go. Let's let's try let's try fish and see what if, if fish, because fish is a nice good lean protein. And I've had yeah. like that where 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 um beef doesn't do anything for them. No, they don't see any kind of. I've had like I've had one week where we just ate chicken. My client, we just mm-hmm. ate chicken. Monday through Friday we ate chicken. The next week we ate fish. What if, if it was like salmon or tilapia? or cod and you could tell the difference of how one protein makes you look by by the other with with um with him fish seafood does it i mean the wow. look insane after yeah. just five days of just eating <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean watch <laughs> little bulk or it's yeah it all depends about your body you know and yeah like, it's fascinating i mean you'll there's sometimes where if i go like um, not maybe the day after i'm fasting mm-hmm. but Two days after I've I've fasted, mm-hmm. I'm looking much leaner in the mirror. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. like and and that can happen with food sometimes too. Like you could have, you can even do a binge where you eat a lot of calories, mm-hmm. right? And then the next day you could be super lean. Yeah. Some people they eat a lot of calories, but it's like salt infested, right, exactly. and they'll just look bloated the next totally. day. And people will be, yeah. and then people will be like, "Oh, that strategy just doesn't doesn't work. You're <laughs> wrong, right?" And it's like, you know, w- basketball players. You don't hear people in the NBA say, oh, don't play football because football is not actually athletically beneficial. No, they say for what I do, exactly. this is the training I do for basketball, exactly. do well, different training exactly. for football. Exactly. So, you know, fitness models should not be coming at bodybuilders and oh. bodybuilders should not be going at CrossFitters. Yeah. Yeah. For, what, for what most CrossFitters want to do, which is, I mean, CrossFitters for the most part look pretty insane. I mean, they, oh, yeah. they're, they're, not, they're, not only, they're not only lean, they're built. Built, exactly. If they're natural. We have to we have to also understand yeah. yes. that some of this is not natural. Some of, of them course, of are course. distorted because honestly, there's no way that you could do CrossFit at a professional level with that kind of grind, mm-hmm. build that kind of muscle, exactly. do that kind of intensive yeah. cardio yeah. with I mean, we're talking about really heavy weight. I mean, I can understand if it was like lightweight, heavy cardio, mm-hmm. but sometimes it's heavy weight, heavy cardio. And to recover the next day next to day. do that for another yeah. you have hour to on the supplements, you know. Some people can recover that fast, but most people are on some kind of yeah, I mean, intense you know, supplement. And that's you. You, I think our bodies are predetermined to a, a certain extent. Yeah, you can't. You could always change your body type, and that's where steroids yeah. come into play. Right? Yeah, steroids and, and HGH can do that. Now, everyone um, has a certain type of genetic. Yeah. Like for me, like the men, the men in my family do not have defined shoulders. We have, we have, we have, <laughs> if you didn't see, I just flipped them off. Um, <laughs> we, we have, we have uh, big chest, big biceps, long torsos, uh, long arms. Yeah. Uh, but you know, no matter what I do, my whole life, no matter how much, no matter how lean I was, mm-hmm. no matter how much I worked out, my shoulders were never defined. Fine, yeah, yeah. They were just, they were just a, a ball. You see, it's like new calves. <laughs> All right. It's yeah, like, it's like okay. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how much I work them, they look yeah. a little better, but they won't. Yeah, yeah. There's, a max, there's a max. There's a max. There's a maximum. Max, exactly. Well, I said that's where yeah. it's coming to play, you know. But I, I just, I just can't. This, it's, it's not me. And honestly, I don't knock anybody from doing it. I, to be honest with you, 
Yeah, yeah I, I really don't. If if, no. if you want to go into the bodybuilding world, you're going to have to take steroids, unless it's yeah. natural bodybuilding. Right. Unless you, if you're doing it, for, if you're doing it professionally, maybe that that pressure is there. But if you're doing that it for fun, there, yeah. If you, yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly. Like I said, this is my first year coming up and with the um, with the um, World Natural Bodybuilding Federation. Yeah. And, you know, it, this 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 is why, and, and they drug test the shit out of you too. This is no, yeah. oh, we just want to take word for it. They they, right. they test you. You know, they drug test you. Mm-hmm. And, and I'm thinking, I'm mistaken too. They do a lie detector test on you as as well. And if oh. you, yeah, and if you, um, if you get caught cheating, they put you on a wall of shame on their website. Damn. Yeah, wall of shame. So I don't, I don't want my face on the wall of shame. You know. Okay. Well, you better be nice to your wife. I mean, <laughs> she might slip you something in your oh, drink right. if you do something oh. wrong. Yeah. So I mean, I, I plan on doing classic physique instead of physique. Classic physique. Okay. Yeah. So what is that? Classic is is a whole is um thing of Arnold Schwarzenegger or Chris Bumstead. That's classic physique. So no okay. boy shorts. No what? I, no boy shorts. The boy, I mean boy, board shorts. You know what? I okay. Mean? The um, surfing shorts that come down to your knee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. No, though, this is this is like a bikini kind of action thing going on here. Oh, so you got to do the bikini? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Now does that go up the <laughs> ass or around the cheeks? <laughs> <laughs> Right, nothing up there. I'm around the teeth. <laughs> okay. But yeah, this is what, I've seen some. I've seen some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know. <laughs> you gotta have some. You know, you gotta have a firm ass. I, you know, I don't think my ass is that firm. As so, yet. what would what would what would like Phil Heath or like Kai Kai that's, that's open bodybuilding? That's men's yeah, bodybuilding. Okay. Yeah, that is um. That you see how big they are. Classic yeah. would will never get that big. It shouldn't right. be that big for the most right. Part. So. You can be judged on, like, I guess your leanness, the, the prettiness, right? Like, yeah, the, small, small weight of a V taper, small, small lean, yeah, taper. Wide, wide. Nice, but leg. you see these guys, I mean, but you see these guys sometimes they have these abs mm-hmm. that are like, I mean, they, they protrude like it's fat, but it's ripped muscle. Yeah, yeah um, I don't, I don't want to say that's steroids, but or are, are you, oh, so you're talking about more, more definition or the way to mm-hmm. extend? You know, like, um, who's the guy who said ain't nothing but a peanut? Ain't nothing, nothing to do it but to do it. Uh, Coleman, oh, Coleman, Ron, yeah, Ronnie right. Coleman. Something like his stomach like back it. in the day. Oh, he, no, he well, he's he's he takes he takes a lot of shit. Right. I mean, he said what he takes. You know, he t ball. And then, and then he also there's videos of him like he he's like ain't nothing but a peanut. Got to yeah. eat this KFC. All these ketchup packets. <laughs> He was a strong dude, though. But if you see Ronnie strong Coleman, dude, but now, he can barely walk now, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. All, all that, all that abuse that he, that he put on his body, you know. Now, is that? Do you think that's from the lifting, or do you think that's from the actual? No, voice? I think that's from lifting. I think that's from lifting. I mean, this man so, seven hundred pounds on his back. Damn, doing, doing squats, you know. So, I, so, I but like, wouldn't he? Wouldn't he feel the breakdown happening? I mean, I just. You know, his muscles are, are building. Yeah. I'm assuming I, at some point his muscles oh, were don't. like, we can't build anymore. You no, know, no, well, you don't, you don't feel that. That's the whole thing about, about steroids. It's a recovery process. Right. Okay. You don't think you take steroids, you're going to get muscles the next day. Steroids are, 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 are made for you to recover faster. Right. And, and so you can hit the weights harder. Right. You know, that's what steroids is for the, for the most part. You know, it helps okay. you to recover. Okay. You know, so you could... Hit the, you know, you you go to the, and you go to the gym and you leg press a thousand pounds. You're not gonna be able to do legs on 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 a Thursday if you do legs on a Monday. But no, but steroids, right. you can do legs on a Monday, a Wednesday, and a Friday. You know, right. that's what right. steroids are for. And I'm I'm happy though that a lot of like influencers on YouTube and Instagram are talking about the, their use of steroids now. Yeah, because now they're making it known. Like I was, I, was, I follow this one guy, and um, Asian cat, and he's I mean, his body is nice, man. It's sick. Mm-hmm. And last week, he decided to make a video about, yeah, I do take steroids. And I was like, wow. To me, I, I wouldn't I would think. I think, was, you know, because he's like 27 years old. Now, you know, he looks natural, but I wouldn't think he takes, but he, but he does. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm happy that, that they're doing that now. You know, a lot, of, a lot of bodybuilders or a lot of influencers are telling people, listen, yeah, you can look like this, but up to, up to a certain degree, up to a certain point, yeah. you know. But I mean, that's a good thing. They're not, they're not scared. Uh, and then they're not losing any money by doing it, to be honest with you. Yeah. Right, right. If right. you think of like cultures that venerate the male form, mm-hmm. um, not to say that women aren't in the, the bodybuilding community, they are, but um, particularly, I think we usually associate steroid use with men more than mm-hmm. you, women. And I think, you know, if you look at like the, the Greeks, right? 
um, the ancient Greeks and their statues of men. If you look at like, or even like the um, Renaissance, right? The mm-hmm. statue of David. I mean, back then those people, whatever exercise they're doing is not steroided at it. No. Right? For them to get those physiques, you know, of like, you know, the Greek gods and all that mm-hmm. stuff that are there, for them to get those physiques, you know, they, they're, it's the Mediterranean diet, mm-hmm. which is still seen by most doctors as the healthiest diet. Yeah, healthiest diet, yeah. And they are, you know, they used to exercise. They used to run. They used to jump. They used to lift rocks. They used to uh, do all kinds fight, of stuff. Fight their enemies. Fight. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no. no, but you, but, but, and in some cultures, if you look at like Celtic culture, which was found from Spain to Yugoslavia, all the way up into Britain and Ireland, uh, they had a, a matriarchal culture where women would fight too. Okay. Okay. So you know everybody has to be has to be fit. Yeah. And we have this assumption that people were just kind of like piling shit all day mm. and 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 uh, procreating. Yeah. And, and before civilization, and um, you know, battle would come and they somehow just jump into battle. <laughs> no, no. Like, think about it. They they were smart too. They were thinking like, look, man, I went to a battle once. I didn't do cardio for a year. I ran away. I almost died. This is spears coming at you. These guys with swords. Some of them have clothes on. Some of them do not have clothes on. I don't know what that means. You know, you know, like, you know, like you had to be cardio ready. So yeah, exactly. people, fig- yeah. people figured out that like pretty early on that when they would hunt and gather mm-hmm. that they would feel better when they were doing it. And they figured out that certain things – needed to be repeated right so early humans figured out that uh okay the guys that don't really come and hunt you know we're running and jumping and throwing spears those guys when they do join us don't are not able to keep up Mm -hmm. so in the human mind even even uh an early human mind you could would, would think a is not equaling a here a is not equaling b here and we need to then if if he's outwinded mm-hmm. and we're doing this all the time, we're not winded, then he needs to do this with us. And thus training Happens. starts. Exactly. Right? You yeah. think, okay, we need to the more we run is better. Then you start thinking about like the, the, the biggest guy in your tribe mm-hmm. who has muscle, right? And you think like, why is he so big and I'm not? And you're like, you you deduce in your mind, oh, you know what? He's the guy who actually goes up to the mountains Mountain and, climb. and like has to move yeah. rocks and shit rocks. and like exactly. climb to, yep. for food or climb to see, you know, just just how high the, where the enemy is. Right. He's the biggest guy. So then you start thinking that's what's going to make you big. So, yeah, they're not primitive humans. were not like built, designing dumbbells and yeah. <laughs> barbells, exactly. but they had an understanding of, of fitness yeah. in a in an auxiliary way. Yep. Uh, you know, Rome. Uh, Warriors back in the day would train. I mean, Roman warriors, yeah, I mean, Zulu yeah. warriors, Zande warriors, yeah. Chinese warriors. Yeah. They, these, these guys would just go on marches. Mar- yeah, we're talking about marches exactly. for days. They yeah, they had to get their own food. It wasn't sitting down watching Seinfeld reruns and right. <laughs> anything, right. you know. So right, 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 right. Exactly. And they and they weren't. You know, I believe that you should get at least ten minutes of fitness every day. Oh yeah, right. you got it. You got it. You got to Just get it in because, yeah. but Move. that's considering our schedule. You know, ideally, what you want is to, to just to feel like you tested yourself, yeah. right? Like, um, what what you know, what comes easy to you, don't do. What comes hard to you, do repeatedly. Yeah, right. And um, yeah, I, I I mean, I I I just think, you know, you see so many people that get frustrated when a diet doesn't work. Mm-hmm. And when a workout plan doesn't work and they don't immediately think, okay, what are my other options? I, I don't know if that's genetic or if that's can be learned. What do you um, think that like? Let me see. <clears throat> it, it's, it's, it, it goes back to, to, to infomercials and, and Instagram where they always want the yeah. quick result. You know, that's right. what it goes back to. You right. have to realize nothing comes quick. Right. You have to put in the work. Right. You know, work matters. What you right. do matters. What you eat matters. You have right. to put in the work. You, there's no such thing as magic pills. You know, it, it doesn't mm-hmm. work. It's all the, you know, the, um, what's those things called? Waist trainers and stuff like that. So many women, females tell me about, oh, what about waist trainers? It, it, it Yeah. This, this put in the work, you know? Right, right. It, 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 it did not take you 
um, one week to gain 10 pounds. It took you a while because you were eating like shit. So it's not going to take mm-hmm. you another week to lose those 10 pounds. You know, you just, just right. put them to work. And, and, and be around people, that's another thing too, that supports you. You know, I have one client where she wants a nice waist, she wants a bigger butt, she wants to be firm. She, you know, she's tired of looking the way, the way she looks. But I, I follow on Instagram, I'm like, I'm like, <clears throat> I see you every week out with your friends drinking. Mm-hmm. Cannot do that. And I'm trying to explain mm-hmm. her. I'm like, I'm not getting it, you're 25 years old, but it is some point in time where you have to, if, if those friends don't agree with what you're doing, then just set them aside. I'm not saying break up the friendship. You've been with right, them, right. You have friends for years. Just like, listen, um, Justin, I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to hang out this week. I just, I, I, I have a goal in my head that I want to do. Yeah. You know, and just please, just don't, don't text me about going out. If you want to text me, text me, hey, how's your workout going? Right, I, right. Support you know, it. Don't text me like, hey, yeah. let's go out and, and, and have a drink. Not to say you right. don't have a drink. Right. Having a drink and getting wasted. <laughs> or, right, right, or right. Things, you know. So it's just sometimes with that, to set people aside and, and, and just focus on what you want to focus on. You can't let, you can't let certain situations get in your way every single week. That's the point. Right. What are you paying me for? And I, I literally told her this. I'm like, what are you paying me for? You're, you're paying me good quality money every single month to torture you, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. For, for you to look a certain way. But every single time I, I, I go on your Instagram, you're, you're out drinking or you're out eating, you know, which is even bad, even though you may right. say, oh, well, well, you said, well, Quincy, you know, uh, even though I went out, I had, a, a steak with broccoli. Yeah, you don't know what they put on that broccoli. Yeah, butter uh, on the steak. Butter, butter on the steak. Oh, I was just butter everywhere is butter. Some some types of oils or whatever the case may be. Salt. Yeah. You know that a regular steak and broccoli is what five hundred calories. I guarantee you that shit is like eight nine hundred calories because of the extra calories yeah. and butter and oil that they put on it. So I'm like, you right. just, just be mindful of, of what you. I'm not saying you can't go out and have fun. Just be mindful. You know? yeah. I mean, there's a reason why it tastes better than you're cooking. <laughs> <laughs> right? There's a reason why you want to exactly. go there. Exactly. You know, and um, tell them all, yeah. all, all, also to start meal prepping. Yeah, it may take yes. some time because I remember when I used to meal prep like crazy, which I'm doing now. I mean, yeah. Yeah, hours. Are man. you ordering from a company or are you doing it yourself? No, I'm, I'm doing it myself. I'm doing it myself. Okay. Because um, they do, that, and the audience should know, they do have companies that will send you yes, pre made yes. healthy meals, yes. Yes. Um, you know. Every week, I, I was. Doing, I, I can't even remember the company now. Shit, I can't remember the company name. I was doing it. Um, I want to say a couple couple of months ago, but mm-hmm. uh, the meals started tasting the same. Yeah, you know, yeah. I'm like, you, yeah. I'm like, this is. I might as well just save save my money. Yeah, you can be creative. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this and that's where that's honestly that's where vegetables and spices come in. Yeah, I exactly. mean, I know from my I know for myself, I love to cook mm-hmm. and. You know, when things get boring, I'll, I'll say like, you know what? Let me research a spice I've never had before. Yeah. yeah. So I can go to, uh, and if it's an Asian spice, I'll go to H Mart. Mm. You know, if it's if it's a regular spice, I'll go to Stop and Shop or something like that. But let me yeah. try try a new spice to cook with yeah, yeah. and see if that works. And if I really love it, like I've discovered uh, not only cumin, but um, uh, turmeric in my drinks. Mm-hmm. And then also um, uh, some Asian, uh, uh, Jamaican curry. I love uh, Jamaican curry. Yeah, and yeah. you know, you can try any, and, and, and yeah, spices, yeah, no yeah. calories, exactly, yeah. you like, know, and they can really change your meal. I mean, you're just tired of chicken breast, yeah, yeah. you know, throw a little, throw, throw a, a little bit of oil and throw some cumin, um, some Jamaican curry on that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Tastes like new. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Yeah. And, and, and even if say you're, you're tired of chicken breast, do spice it up, do some, you know, Cut it in chunks and put it in a, in a little um, almond wrap or something. You know, throw some habanero yeah. sauce on there. You just spice yeah. it up a little bit, you know? Yeah. Cooking for yourself really, I think, is a great way just to get you to be more mindful about food. Because exactly, you, know you, you know what you know body. And, and here's the thing. Like, a lot of these influencers that, that they're super lean, they're super oh. beautiful, and, the, and yet you see them every day. They're like, oh, sushi dinner, right? Or <laughs> at Nobu or all this stuff. And it's like... First of all, you don't know if they're finishing their meal. You yeah. don't know that. Yeah, exactly. Right? They might not be finishing their meal, mm-hmm. right? And second of all, um, you know, they're not they they have the money and the apparatus mm-hmm. to hire not only trainers but people to liposuction them, yeah, and alter their body in a way where you know they they gain five pounds, they can just cut it right off. 
You know, they can just alter themselves in, in some way. And, you know, plastic surgery has gotten to the point, you know, it used to be like in the 90s and 80s where, okay, I could tell you've had some work done. Yep. You know, you got a scar or it just yeah. doesn't look right. You, know, you, look like, you look like someone punched you in the face. And it's so funny you said that because I kid you not, the other day my wife and I were speaking, talking about it. And like he's back in the days, like it is now, it's, it's a lot more affordable. It's much more affordable than mm-hmm. it was back in the days. Back in the days, and, only the rich could afford. Now, right. the client has five ten thousand dollars on a uh, on a BBL. Yeah, for getting your 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 tummy talk. I just right. called um abdominal sketching. Mm, where, what's that? So, so new, and men do it a lot, which is funny. Men do it a lot. People think it's only women. Nah, men men yeah. men do a lot of plastic surgery too. Where yeah, yeah. it's it's not lipo, but they take that that needle thing, poke you, whatever it is, and they just make you look appear to have abs so they'll take the fat away from your oh. abdomen section. Oh, okay. I'm all sketching. Yeah. Yeah, because because everybody has abs under their fat. Yeah. <laughs> you, <gotta work laughs> you know. <laughs> um that's true. Yeah, you know, uh Not more affordable. You, know, you 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 honestly nowadays the sophistication of plastic surgery and the work you can get done really makes it so you really can't tell who's natural. Yeah. Not at all. Not one bit. Anybody. And, you know, you what you want to do is you want to follow people who are honest, people who say exactly that, that, that you know put on the grind, right? They're, they're posting their mm-hmm. whole workout for you. For you, yeah. Right? And you see exactly what they've been through, yeah. right? And then you don't – that doesn't mean they're not on steroids or not cheating, what you might consider cheating or whatever. People mm-hmm. can do what they want. Um, but, you know, if they're saying to you, I'm not exactly natural. Then that's somebody maybe you can follow because they're being honest with you. They're not. They're not. They're not cheating you. They're not deluding you. They're not doing it just for them. You know. But I think. I think. I think also too. Like it's a. It's a mindset issue. Mm-hmm. Well, it's. It's. I, and I can just speak from experience, right? I've. I've been an incredibly obese human. Mm-hmm. I've been an incredibly skinny person. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm trying to get back mm-hmm. down to a, a, a weight where I feel comfortable. Yeah. Uh, you know, I got a reunion coming up for my college, so I'm trying to get back in my and old where, tank tops. Where did you go to college? I went to Princeton. Got to be proud of that, man. Got to be proud of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, when I was on the rowing team, mm-hmm. uh, you know, we were not like – we were the best – I think we were the best athletes mm-hmm. on the campus because the, the how intensive rowing is. That I mean, think about it. Hard. Yeah, I mean, you're going all out – uh cardio and strength because i gotta move the water i'm doing that for two hours right, all man. out yeah. non-stop and your workouts were intense right early like we we're talking about five o'clock in the morning six o'clock yeah 5 a.m 5 a.m and or even on the off day on yeah. the off day yeah. i'm doing workouts mm-hmm. i'm doing pieces where it's like five k's three in a row mm-hmm. i have to come within 30 seconds of my PR the second time. I have to PR. Yeah. I have to come in 30 seconds of my PR the second time. Then I have to come within a minute of my PR the third time. Mm-hmm. Third time in a row. I get five minutes to get water and break. But you, that's how bad you want it. You, you, but, you right, right. I mean, you just have to have that mindset that you just exactly. love that kind of stuff. Yeah, exactly. But for people, for people who don't, I think you can, you can build a fire. I always feel like there's some people who just naturally have that fire and that rage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and, oh, yeah. and some people do that unhealthily. Mm -hmm. You know, they become too absolutist and they push themselves too much. But there's some people who feel like I just don't have that, uh, you know, I'm just kind of like a, I'm like a a, a man kind of person. I still think you can build a fire in yourself. And go go to the gym with someone who does. Always bring it if you can. That's why, you know, I tell my clients every day, personal trainers have personal trainers. I have a personal trainer. He's one of my closest friends, but he also is a personal trainer. I don't pay him right. because he's my good friend. Right. But I, right. I have a personal trainer, you know, and we, we motivate each other. There's certain right. things I could not do by myself. Like right. the other day, I squatted 315 pounds for the first time in God knows, like, I'm 30. On your back? On your back or from? On my back, on my back, yeah, yeah. Okay. So for okay. 39 years old, for the first time since I was maybe one in my, in my late 20s. Yeah. And he's telling me, he's like, I'm like, I'm like, his name is Jude. I'm like, dude, I'm not, I'm not doing that shit. I'm not. He's like, bro, shut up. Get on your yeah. fucking weight yeah, right. and, and squat it. I mean, right. you can give me a spot, right? He's like, yeah, motherfucker, I'm going to give you a spot. Just, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, in my head, I'm like, I'm not doing this shit. Like, right. why do you want me to do this shit? <laughs> right, right, right. I know I have a show coming up, but damn, I don't, right. I don't you know. But he's like, no, go do it. And and I did it three times, but I did it, you know. Right. You know, so it's, 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 it's you need yeah. that person. You need that. Everyone needs help. 
And that's the thing. I can, I can tell you right now. I mean, maybe it's just my feed, but on Instagram, you go, you don't have to go down very far before you hear some motivational comment from somebody. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> it's like, what's that mean? Where it's like, um, if you run uh, just a mile, Ooh. that increases your likelihood of leaving an inspirational quote by seventy percent. <laughs> It's not an actual stat, but it's like, yeah, like if you're an athlete, if you exercise, uh-huh. you probably leave some expiring, you know, message for other people. Like, I, I, I know when I get to the weight I, that I, I want to get to, I'm going to show up. Yeah, and I'm going to leave some inspiring message. But really, really, you know, the one, so, uh, one that comes up a lot is a lot of people say, uh, you, uh, tell me who your friends are and I'll tell you who you are. Yes, indeed. Right. Indeed. I mean, I mean, it's you don't not everybody has every single talent and Ooh. not everybody also believes that they can develop skills. Mm-hmm. So you got to find people that are better than you at something okay. that yeah. know more than you at something. Okay. And yeah. then don't be insecure. You can become like them. You exactly. could become that better. knowledgeable become and better. Even, even, even better, uh-huh. right? Because you're going to, you're watching them and you might have the drive it takes to surpass them. You may yeah. actually have hidden intellect that you're not accessing because you're just not working that muscle. Yep. He tells right? he, he, my, I, I say, my, my trainer tells me all the time, he's like, I'm doing this because I want you to be better than me. Right. He's like, I, I make, I made mistakes at your age that I don't want you to make the mistakes at. So right. Right. Do. Yeah. The relationship with the elders is, is yeah, key yeah, too. Yeah. He, he's some 30. He's, he just turned 47. Okay. Yeah. He just turned 40. He, he's honestly one yeah. that pushed me to do the show because he's he's natural as well. He's natural. Okay. He's natural. Um, high Health LLC is his, um, is his corporation that he, that he has, all natural foods, straight yeah. from earth, you know, things of that nature. But he, he, he's, he's the one. He's like, listen, do a show, man. He's like, just do it. Mm-hmm. Oh, it is, just do it. You know, he's like, and yeah. you follow me, I guarantee you, I'm not going to, you're not going to come out in the last place. Right. You know, he's just, just have that willpower to do it. He's like, mm-hmm. I want you to be better than me. And that's, that, that's the kind mm-hmm. of people that you need. You always push. Yeah. This, this is a guy that wake up five o'clock and go work out. And because of COVID now, you know, we have to wear a mask everywhere, every time we go in the gym. So we just right. work out. Either I work out in my home gym or we go to his. And I, I tell him all the time, I'm like, yo, I, I can't do what you do. I can't come down here and work out with, with, with no motivation. There's nobody to look at. Mm-hmm. That's what you need. Right. Yeah, exactly. There's no one to look at you. Yeah, exactly. Right. I don't want to look at myself. Right. So right. He, he would get up and work out by himself. Right. And he's like, this is the kind of motivation you need. And yeah. I, I wish I had that mentality that honestly that he had to come mm-hmm. downstairs. Like I'll go to the gym. I, I don't mind going to the gym. I, I love going to the gym. But to mm-hmm. come downstairs and, and work out by myself, it's, it's a fucking drag. Right. But that's why I look to him for that, mm-hmm. that motivation, that extra yeah. push. You know? What I always what I, I don't always say, but um what what I've come up with I mean, in my mind right now that I can say that I think might be a very profound thing to say. I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> um, is that uh, I consider myself a Stoic. I love Stoic writers, oh. um, Seneca, uh, Epictetus, all that stuff. And Stoics really believe that you only deal with what you control and that's what you think about, right? But they also believe that you have to kind of come to terms with one day you will die. It's called it memento mori, okay. right? And that because you will die one day, you want to live life to the fullest. You want to really yeah. challenge yourself and you really want to become the best version of yourself. I also think what can be helpful is pretend like you're going to live forever. Uh-huh. Right? Pretend like you have a soul okay. and you're, you're, you're training yourself now, okay. not just for this life. Because people say, like, what's the point? I get all big. I get all athletic. I get all in fit. Uh-huh. And then I turn 80 and I'm just a, a mush. Or wrinkly. You know? Or wrinkly, right? Okay. Or, like, I'll die and then it'll be, it'll be nothing, right? Don't have that kind of atheistic perspective or that nihilistic uh-huh. perspective. Have the perspective that, like, what you're doing right now uh-huh. is going to influence the mindset that you're going to carry for eternity. Yeah. Right. And you want to have a mindset that you can survive and enjoy anything. Okay. And let's say this is true. Uh-huh. Everything is more enjoyable when you've earned it. Let's say yeah. that's true. Facts. So if yeah. right, if you really feel like you've earned your meal, yep. right? You really feel like you've earned, man, I had a great workout and I got these endorphins now. Uh-huh. I feel invincible. Uh-huh. Right. You want to earn that feeling. Well, then imagine if you could have that feeling forever. Yeah. Right. And and you can improve and it never gets boring. It it never gets overwhelming. And it never gets something that you're tired of. Some people ask you or tell you how realistic is that, though? Well, what I'm saying is that just to think like that Mm. is to think I'm preparing myself for a never-ending 
kind of experience, and, a journey and, that that and, and, and in that way, you know, for this is more for somebody who doesn't have that fire. Okay, right. If you don't have that fire, then you can think to yourself, the benefits I establish for myself now, I will I will keep carrying. There will never be an end to those benefits. Right. So why wouldn't I keep doing it? Because exactly. people do like to chase satisfaction. Yes. Right. So in this way, you can kind of philosophically make something that's very hard uh, satisfying. Yeah. It, it's not I, for everybody. It's not, it's not, for, it's not for everybody. Because, you know, it, it's – you have to think about what, what is it that you want in life. You know, mm -hmm. do you want to live for today or do you want to live for the future? Do you right. want now or do you want later? You know? Right. Or do you just want, want? Do you want it all? And some people, some people, some people want it all. Yeah, you know? mm -hmm. some people want it right now. And you could have right now. It just it takes it takes a little bit of time. And yeah. that's how I tell people it just it just takes time. If you mm -hmm. listen, that's another thing, man. People don't fucking listen. Right. <laughs> people, people don't listen. Just take time out to listen. And I tell all my clients once again: if you if you have a question or you, text me, yeah, no what time it is, just text me. Holler at me. Hey, Q, can I eat this? Can I eat that? Just text me. Mm -hmm. You know, if you need words of encouragement, I try, I try every day to text my clients words of encouragement, you know, to, to let them know I'm here. Mm -hmm. You know, but it, it's it's how bad you want it. It always comes yeah. back to how bad you want it, you know. Yeah. But you got to sustain that too. I mean, you can't get to the point where it's like, oh, I want to want to drop 80 pounds and then you drop 80 pounds and then you're like, job, all that, all that mentality you built, all that fire. Mm -hmm. And then you can't just drop it once you get your goal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you yeah. got to establish a new goal, a new exactly. a new challenge for yourself. Yep. You know, and you got to maintain now, mm -hmm. right? Because your body meta they they found that up until about sixty sixty five, mm -hmm. your metabolism really doesn't change that much. No. Uh, once you start getting older than that, then aging starts to decay you. But yeah. there there's evidence that if you keep training. Uh, at a high, at, at, at a, a level that for you is challenging, you will still be fit as long as you live. I mean, there's there's people who are a hundred running track races. Of course, yeah, yeah. There's a guy and, who, and it's like, yeah, there's a guy in the gym right now. He's like in his sixties, and and, he, and he's been pressing eighty pound dumbbells at at sixty yeah. years old. Yeah. And you and I talked to him like, hey, how long you been doing this? Yeah, I've been doing this since I was in my twenties. I never and I never stopped. That's never it. stop. <laughs> you, right. you never, you never stop. Right. You know? right. He's not and, a, yeah. a fucking six year old bodybuilder. He just right. he, what he knows, and he like my grandfather. My grandfather is ninety two. He's got all his faculties. He drives. He lives by himself. He, yeah. he does everything a thirty year old would do. Trust me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. And, and and you know, I attribute some of that to the training he got as a farm boy. A sharecropper in Alabama. Yeah, you know, every day what he's doing is he's pulling a he's pulling yeah he's pulling a mule mm -hmm. every day. Yeah. How's that any different than rope pulls rope pull. the weight on the end? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Every day he's running. He's he has to sprint, mm -hmm. and he doesn't know when. He doesn't know when he has to sprint, mm -hmm. but he has to sprint to catch food for dinner. Yeah, he has to sprint to catch his brother who's not acting right. He has yeah. to sprint away from a snake. He has to sprint to the field because a horse got loose or a cow. Yeah, yeah. right. And he's got to do that all day long, every day. And he's that is athletic training, right? So he was also in the army, and they trained him athletically. Yeah, yeah. So you know, for someone like him who uh, did not keep training afterwards, after uh, the army, mm -hmm. I think that 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 intense period when he was from five years old mm -hmm. till about twenty two stayed with him to the point now where he's physically able to be active. Okay. So imagine if you can take what he did in a condensed period of time and do something similar for yourself your whole life. Your whole life, yeah. How you'll feel. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I think I think we can end the dependency on nursing homes. I think we can end the dependency on um a lot of different things that people who are older have to deal with deal, you know, yeah. knee, re knee replacements, hip replacements, all that stuff. I 100% agree. You know, you know, I, I'm not saying that, you know, I'm not saying those things don't help or yeah. beneficial. I'm saying what you want to do is you want to build a strong foundation and you want to keep going. Yeah. You want to don't, you know, and, and no matter what, get your exercise in, you know, even if you're, if you're dealing with, if you're pregnant or if you have an injury, yeah. uh, Keep going, and, and I tell you too. Like honestly, mo most of my clients are, are home right now, like working from home. Yeah, and they all have nine to five where they're sitting, literally sitting eight hours a day. And I, I, I try to text them, like, "Hey, get up, 
do do 30 air squats, do 40 air squats, do, do something, you know, cause they're right. calling, they come and work out and be like, Oh, my, my knee hurt. Well, why does your knee hurt? Cause I, I, I didn't see you all week this week. So why does your knee hurt? Nothing what we did. Oh yeah. Cause you've been, you've been sitting down 24 seven, you know? So right, right. You have to get up, keep moving since, especially since you're home now, you know, get up uh, and, and keep moving. So I mean, listen, hopefully this COVID shit don't last too long, which another year or so, two years, who knows, right? We'll see. Yeah. I think yeah. that this is the new norm, mm-hmm. which I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, like I said, it, it was a good thing for me that COVID happened because I was able to start up and create my own business and work from home. Mm-hmm. Take a lot of my, my, my clients from the gym I was working at mm-hmm. and bring them here. And it, it, it was a blessing in the sky for, for me, you know, yeah. for the most part. But so it all comes down to willpower, man, you know. You always know that willpower yeah. and how bad you want it. How and bad you want it. Mm-hmm. Everyone wants to look good naked. Mm-hmm. But everyone wants to look good naked. So work hard, work hard at it. Work at yeah. it. You know? Even if no one else is going to see you, even exactly. if it's just you. Yeah, ex- exactly. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. I guarantee you, men and women, I, they don't like the way they look right now. You know, mm-hmm. a, lot, a lot of people don't. You know, right. I, I know fit guys, me, myself right now, I, 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 my wife tells me I look good. I look, I look myself in the mirror. I'm like, no, I don't. She, right. she looks like, what the fuck are you talking about? She's like, you, you look good. I'm like, no, I don't. If mm. I go on stage right now, I'll be in last place because right. I know somebody is bringing, bringing it 10 times harder than I am. Mm-hmm. That, that's the drive that, that, that you need in life. Always yeah. know somebody out there that wants to take your place and wants to take your spot mm-hmm. and just work towards that. And it's sometimes right. we don't have, we always don't have the motivation every single day. I mean, but don't let that, don't let that, that, um, that, let me see. Don't, don't let that last for, for 48 hours. You know, if you feel bad that, that Monday, all right. Everyone has that, that, you know, everyone feels bad every now and then, but don't, don't take that on to Tuesday, get your ass up, go to the gym and, and do what you have to do. Yeah. yeah, or bring the gym to yourself. Design exactly. a gym yeah. in your house. Yeah, right. all you need, all, honestly, all you need is maybe a sandbag, kettlebell. Yeah, well, I like egg weights. Egg weights. I box with them. Yeah, they're yeah. weighted yeah. on your hand. Great cardio. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You know? And, and yeah, you don't you don't need a full blown squat rack and 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 forty you know? pounds. Yeah. Not everybody wants to be a bodybuilder. They just want right. you know be in shape and be healthy. Mm-hmm. But once again, Jay, it all starts with. Eating right, yeah, yeah, eating right, and, and know your body, you know. Yeah, you know I mean? and my advice is, you know, make up a workout yourself. Yeah, exactly. You know, go to your go to your training and say, "Hey, I've been thinking about this. Can we incorporate some of these ideas?" Exactly, exactly, exactly. That's what I tell my clients. I'm like, listen, if if you get bored, because it's, it's certain things that some of my clients want, and I'm like, listen, if you get bored with this, just just let me know. You know, if you feel like yeah. you're doing the same shit over and over again, like, hey, mm-hmm. can we switch it up this time, or you know, let's do something different. I'm not going to yell at you and say no. I'm right. like, oh, oh, cool. Hey, you know, let, let's, let's try that. You know, because right, right, right. I might not remember or, or think about what it is that I want you to do. And, and, and so it's like, say something, you know? Yeah, yeah. Say something. But you got to go out and get it, man. Got to go out and get it. Definitely. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I think, audience, we can never get enough of Quincy. Obviously. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. But appreciate it. Appreciate we it. are going to have to wrap up now. Don't and I want to say it. again, Remember, you can find us wherever podcasts are found. That's Apple, that's Spotify, that's Google. Share, like, subscribe, comment. And please, wherever you are in the world, be well. And remember, trenders, we're better when we trend together. I want to thank my guest, Quincy Nichols. Appreciate it, Jeff. Quincy, you have any last words? Uh, you can find me at Conquer Fitness LLC, Conquer Fitness 24-7 on Instagram, Conquer Fitness Train Hard at gmail.com. And that's about it. God bless find you. Find them. You know? Follow him and remember that the fire that you need to get this done, you can either have it, but you can also create it. Indeed. That's my last words for you. All right, trenders. So, uh, yeah, and uh, we'll see you next time. Remember, we're better when we trend together.